Hello everybody, this is Pop Cooking. Today we're gonna use the office, official office car Cook party planning guide, cookbook, whatever you wanna call and it. And we're gonna make the Ultra Feast Mac and, and cheese. cheese. There we go. So hey, if you wanna see it, what is it on? The recipe will be on Instagram after this video okay, is finished. That's good. Now the only problem is where am I gonna put the book? Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, put the book. Why don't you put in a clean pan over the sink and put it in the clean pan? See you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I could do that. If you have one. Oh, there we go. That's See? Okay, now. Turn the salt cooker to low. All right, I'm gonna turn to low. That's gonna that's be a pain in the ass on that thing. Okay, this one. Um, in a large saucepan over medium heat, melt the butter. I'm gonna need two saucepans, I think. This is the Ultra Feast Mac and Cheese, guys, and it has. A quote from the office right here saying, yeah. I need a baby. I'll never outside your room pan without one. Also, I've been noticing one a gaping hole in my butter. life. Where's the butter? Where's right here, guys, in the book. Oh, one stick of butter. Medium heat. I don't know what medium heat is. Let's put it on one or two, I guess. It's a super spinach. Super spinach. That's for the ultimate feast. Ultra feast, yes. Okay. On top of your mac and cheese. That will take what about an hour? Hour and twenty minutes. You, you already made the bacon and the and the chicken. Melt the butter and then whisking the flour. Oop! I gotta get rid of it. Yeah, you got butter on my brand new book. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I did that, but you got a butter stain on it. Yeah, yeah, you did. The, the book, you know, was supposed to. Yeah, original one. Original copy. Original copy, all stains and all. How much flour do I need? Half quarter cup. Half quarter cup here. I just washed it. It's not very good. A quarter cup of flour. You know, this might be the quarter cup. Look at that. Okay. That looks so good. Mm. Well, I guess I have to wait till the butter is melted. There was one in there. Look at that, I swear. Or no way. No last for. I, I, I just used one. No, but it's. Use this. Yeah, she's mad. Oh, wait, here's a whiskey. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a thing for a. Whatever. Same diff. Same diff. Okay. Let's wait for this part again. I need to break this half a little bit. Come on. It says it's supposed to take 10 minutes to be bare, but I don't know. It is on, you mean you're on too low. She's right in his office. You know what, my brother got him. Yeah, for up in a strand and he was. Which has a bunch of office stuff on it, which is pretty cool. I will say that. <laughs> okay, now I whisk in the butter. Flour. Flour, I mean, flour, butter. Yeah, I'm way ahead of myself. Come what on, does it say on the track? Negative. Wait, whiskey continuously with flour, with listen to flour, garlic powder, onion powder, dry mustard, and paprika. No. Cook whisking continuously until the mixture is golden brown and dry. Greens are completely combined. About 15 minutes it takes to do that. Oh, it says prep time 10 minutes. Yeah, getting all the stuff out. Did you cook you put all this other stuff in? No, no. How much of that? Oh, so. One teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, and then one What's and a half teaspoon of mustard powder. What is it? Is that a teaspoon? 
assist? Yeah. Now stay on the front. Okay. Oh shit. Tablespoon. Oh, that's a long thing, man. See, I thought I had it here. Oh, it's over there in that thing. Straight oh, yeah. It's a half teaspoon. It's a half teaspoon. So. Okay, that's good. Okay, how much? So, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. You know, I need something to put this in. A napkin. Or a, piece of, or, or a plate. Bleh. Mm. <sighs> Grab me one of those plates off the top of it, please. We're well prepared here in New York. Yeah, well. Okay. I'm going to open this can. The camera's over there. Yeah, it's over there. I use one of those flying things with a hole. Like what? Where? Oh, I okay. Can't use that. How much of this? What's that? What is that? Garlic powder. Garlic powder is one teaspoon. One teaspoon. So two things of that. Yep. Okay. One. Two. Okay. What else? One teaspoon of onion powder. Which is already open. Here we go. One. What else? One and a half teaspoons of mustard powder. The chain open again. One and a half. One and a half. All right. And paprika. One and a half teaspoons. How about the flour? Oh, I did put the flour. One and a half. <laughs> yep. And it's whisk continuously until it's a golden brown color. And we have a TikTok now, guys. It's Pops and Jakey T on TikTok. I run. You got Ashley to help. Ashley out. runs the TikTok and Twitter and Instagram now. She's our social media. Yeah, I'm all for it running that stuff. I'm gonna be honest. I'm okay. terrible. All right. Now whisk. Now whisk, whisk it for 15 minutes. It should take. 15 minutes. Yeah, this whisking. Has to be a golden brown type color. It has to be dry, and the drying ingredients are completely combined. She's trying to get a TikTok in right now. Oh, that kind of stinks, don't it? Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the puffy color. Yeah. Is that going brown? No. It has to be like harder. It's not smooth. It's not like pretty. Yeah, like thicker. Mm -hmm. What would do that? Making it cook or? Which is definitely the one we can eat. Oh, the one over there. We got Ashley here to help us today. Yeah. She's a good cook. She's eating the bacon. That's okay. Leftover stuff. Hmm. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm not getting excited about watching him. Does it say keep whisking constantly? Yeah, it says whisking continuously until the mixture is golden brown and dry. Okay. Well, if you want to wait till this is golden brown. Alright, we'll wait till it's golden brown. Well, it means when the dry ingredients is combined, not when it's dry. Come on, I always do that in dry. It's and then what do we have to add? Then slowly stir in the liquids. So you gotta keep on stirring as you're pouring stuff. In. I can, I guess I could stir. She could, stir. she could stir while you're doing that. All right, we we'll back after this. Okay, guys, it's a, it's a faster than it's get, I think. I mean, that's a little bit golden brown, I guess. Good, yeah. Okay. It's still whisking, slowly stirring the liquids. Okay, what are we putting so, in? So now you gotta slowly put it in. Room temperature milk. Alright. How so, about this? Condensed milk? No, hold on, wait. Alright. 
So this is a liquid. It just says the milk. I don't. Okay. Four cups of milk. Twelve ounce can. Is that twelve ounce can then? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Slowly stir it in. You pour it too fast, it can mess it up, it says. Okay. All right. That's the condensed milk. Now pour in. Is it two cups of milk? Well, four cups of milk. Is it two? That's two. Okay. I'm going to do it on that time. I'm right hand. You know what I mean? All right. Okay. All right, dump. I'm not a good cook here. Follow the instructions. Oh, yeah, this is supposed to try leave it on simmer. It is on simmer. So, okay. Okay, we need two more cups of milk. All right, then whisking. Okay. I am not good at it. After you get the after you get the cheese, I mean after you get the milk in, yeah. you have to put the cheese in there and stir it in. It's just mozzarella, three cups of mozzarella. Well, it says four cups. Good job. See, he's like almost a whole half gallon of milk. That was good. You know yeah. it. It does. How much cheese do we need? Three cups of freshly grated mozzarella. Sauce. How many cups is that? Two? It's eight ounces. Are you kidding me? Do we have a We'll just use what we have. Oh my gosh, I need like three bags of this. Or four. If so how much No. The American cheese, that's it. Shit, I was just at the store too. Very fine. Okay. Now I'll store what in. Do you want a scissors actually? The cheese. Oh, okay. How we'll see how many cups of this? What do you mean? Let's pour it in the cup. That's how many cups it is. See how much we're off. Well, I guess two. I'm gonna cut this open and get the rest. Alright, so let's, maybe, maybe honestly, you probably could just use one bag. Here, one dump it in. I think could have just poured the whole thing in. That is enough. What do you think that's wrong? Probably. Yeah, I want to take this time. Yeah, go ahead. Honestly, it's, it's probably enough. Oh, no. Is that right? You said whisk in certain notes. There's some more than that one. Alright. No, no, honestly, it's probably enough of that anyway. Parmesan, we only need two cups of it. That's so, that's a whole bag. That's a whole bag. Just kind of... Yeah. This book is already getting dirty. Cheese, guys. Okay. We'll know X was to go try and. That should be good coverage. Oh. Who knows? No cameras, please. No cameras, please. Not on my face.
That's the Parmesan cheese. All right, that's probably, we only didn't have like enough, we didn't have enough of the mozzarella. Yeah. Is that really it? Does it have to be thick? Probably. It's, it's, it has to be smooth sauce. sauce. It has to be a smooth sauce. Nice and smooth. What does that mean? Like, not, not super liquidy. Not super thick. Not super thick. Like a nice balance. Okay. This might take a while. How long does it would take? Oh, in 20 minutes. No, I mean for the cheese in general. Oh shit. What? Right here it says you shouldn't use shredded cheese. It's fine. It says it won't melt as fast. Oh yeah, right. That's okay. And we'll prevent the sauce from becoming smooth. I'm a fallen. Dad. Okay. What you... We'll see what happens. Let's do that. I'm gonna say I didn't see that. I didn't look at that. Make sure you read all the directions. Yeah, make sure you read all the directions. <laughs> this probably won't come out as, as good as it can be, but it'll come out good. What do you mean it won't come out well, as good I mean, as you, it can be? I know you got the fresh freezer. It'll still? It'll melt. Oh, well, then I'm gonna stop recording and wait till it melts and all that. We'll be back after okay. the cheese sauce is melted, guys. I was in a slow cooker, cheese is done, and then you pour in the cheese sauce on top of it. You have to stir it. What does it say? Oh, you mean like in the slow cooker cooking? Yeah. Every 20 minutes, you gotta stir it. Okay. Now, salt and pepper for taste. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, I don't, yeah, because. How long do you say it has to go on? How long? Yeah. It's a, uh, uh, 90 minutes, but stir every 20, it says. That's like an hour and a half. I know it is, it's 90 minutes. It's kind of close. Here. Yeah, well. Yeah, I get to me. It'll be all the ingredients, you know? Okay, there's that. All right. You just put salt and pepper, and the mac and cheese part's done. Okay, you need to put this on. 90 minutes. 90 minutes. One I mean, one thirty it would be. Ninety. Oh, would it? Yeah. Sixty minutes in an hour. All, all goes up to is one twenty. Okay. Yes. Two timer. Yeah. Now what do we do with the other stuff? Yeah, after it's done. Fifteen minutes. In the last the last fifteen minutes. So when that hits when basically five minutes before that goes off. With all the other stuff in. Alright guys. We back when it's fully cooked. Woo! All right, and we're back, guys. Well, this is it. We're putting the bacon in. It got done a little early. I don't know. It's, 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 it's probably on high. It could, no, it's not. That's on the rolling slow. Whoa. But you just have to keep an eye to it. Keep an eye on it because it didn't take as, it didn't long. Take as long. And it's a little, you know. It's a little, uh, what's the word? Bacon. All right, you want know bacon? What else? Shredded chicken. Shredded chicken. Shredded chicken. That's good enough. I'm not too worried about it. Um, two cups, so. Well, I'll just guess. Just put it all in. I'm gonna put all that in. That's a lot in the way. And a half a cup of hot sauce. Uh, how much spinach? Two cups. Or, yeah, two cups of beef. Did you pull these stems off? No. No? I'll probably just leave it on for an extra five minutes then when you, for the stuff. It's already all cooked, basically. Yeah, they want to open the noodles And yeah, the, over, the noodles are already overcooked. 
don't want to leave it on. Yeah. I don't know why it got like that. You know it. I don't know. Bums us out, but. Okay, and two. Two cups of chili. Oh, yeah. I mean, not chili, of spinach. Like <laughs> okay, and what else? And half a cup of hot sauce. Because that's Old Bay hot sauce. See, if we have regular Frank's in there, that's not going to be half a cup, is it? Do think this would be okay? I would use, use that because it's not hot. It's not hot, it's Old Bay. Old Bay, it would be like, old, oh, it'd be like seasoning. All right, yeah, we'll be back when it's all done, guys. Come on. All right. Here we go. There it is. Let's see how it tastes. What do you think, Pops? That tastes good. Too bad the noodles got uh, done. Man, the noodles got overdone. So, an hour and 30 is too long, guys. Well, at least for us. So, just keep an eye on it when you're stirring it. And you get a scoop. Okay, four. Mmm. That tastes good. You didn't wait for your, my timer to get Oh, ready? No. Oh. Okay. Oh, sure. Three, two, one. Mmm. Mm. That got good. Mm hmm. You were the one that got so fucked up. Yep. Alright, guys. Well, hope you all enjoyed it. Let's people want to be on Instagram. And next week we're doing Kevin's Famous Chili. Chili. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.